So thrilled to have you here today, Ryan Collier, the CEO of Rosatom, Southern and Central Africa. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, thank you for having me. Um, just to kick us off, what do you think is the role of green energy in the context of a just energy transition in African countries? I think we really need to take into consideration the just energy transition in Africa, right? Are we really transitioning from one source of energy to another? Are we transitioning from fossil to green? Or are we tr transitioning from energy poverty to perhaps a mix of solutions that uh, will empower industry and economies, mm -hmm. right? And I think that's really what we need to be aiming for. Mm -hmm. I think that all power sources at this point in time have a role to play in Africa's transition from energy poverty to energy security um, and, and green sources as well, right? So mm -hmm. whether it be uh, solar power, wind, hydro, they all have a role to play. Mm -hmm. um, I think that nuclear particularly um, has a very important role to play as a carbon-free um, source of baseload power. A and really that is what the continent needs at this point in time to industrialize baseload power. There's going to be a need for, for green baseload um, and, and, and it's purely market related, right? Um, companies in, in Europe are willing to pay a premium for certain products if they are green uh, or there may be taxes imposed on products if they're not, right? So, so it's really going to be a construct of that. Um, but I think that from a baseload perspective, um, besides large scale hydro, there aren't really many other choices in terms of green base load. And just looking at uh, Rosatom's service offerings, how do you feel that they will help um, to provide an effective and fair energy transition? And how can it help diversify Africa's energy mix? I think firstly, maybe we need to unpack a little bit of, of who Rosatom is or what Rosatom is for that matter, right? So Rosatom's made up of over 300 different companies and employs over 300,000 people. Um, we are able to offer a very diverse range of energy solutions from nuclear energy being our core business all the way through to solar, small scale hydro um, and wind, right? So we, we, have, we even have our own wind company called Nova Wind. Uh, so I think in terms of, of, of our offering, uh, we have a broad range and, and we've got various projects ongoing currently, right? So in, in Egypt, we've got Al Dabar, right? It's a 4,800 megawatt nuclear project. It's, it's a huge project and it's Africa's uh, first nuclear power plant besides the one in Kuburg, which was, was built 38 years ago. Um, so, you know, Besides offering, we're, we're already doing. Mm. In Mali, we have a 200 megawatt solar project. Um, and in Congo Brazzaville, currently, we are at advanced stages of developing um, a, a small scale hydro project as a pilot, a pilot right? Um, so I think we have various different offerings. Uh, mm. Large scale nuclear power for, for the countries that require uh, huge masses of electricity now. Um, then we've developed small modular reactors and we are one of two countries in the world that have an operational uh, small modular reactor and actually the first floating nuclear power plants in the world. Um, so we, we can offer countries with smaller grids that perhaps um, don't have the, the appetite for large scale nuclear power plants, land based small modular reactors. Mm. Um, then we are developing the concept of a fleet of floating nuclear power plants, which I think will be um, truly something special. Mm. Um, and I think something that the African continent would desire um, and, and would be very beneficial um, mm. particularly to countries that that have a desire for nuclear energy but haven't really started the, the process of a, a key milestone approach in terms of implementing a nuclear program. Mm. So really, I think as a company, we are able to assist um, just about any partner in Africa achieve uh, certain goals when it comes to, to energy transition or at least a transition away from energy poverty. 
And I'm, I'm so glad that you brought that up. Could you just tell us more about your cooperation with um, countries in, in the African continent and how that's progressed over the years? Sure. I mean, I think historically, uh, Russia has had a long-term nuclear relationship with Africa, right? So uh, Russia or the, the Soviet uh, Union at that time built the first research reactor in Egypt. Mm. Um, and that really progressed their industry into um, now Aldebar, right? 4,800 mm. megawatt projects. Um, then, like I said, we have uh, solar projects in Mali. Uh, we have small scale hydro in Congo Brazzaville. But um, over the past year, we've signed a number of um, MOUs and intergovernmental agreements with countries like Burkina Faso, Mali, Niger, um, in terms of exploring how they could benefit from nuclear energy, as well as looking at uh, their re uranium reserves. Right? Mm -hmm. um, beyond that, we have two um, uranium operations in Africa, one in Namibia called the Wings Project. Mm -hmm. um, it's said to be one of the um, most beneficial new uranium projects in, in the world. Um, and then we have another one in Tanzan Tanzania called Makuja River. Fantastic. And just my last question, at the theme for um, African Energy Week is, is investing in African energy. How are you looking to promote the use of nuclear power in Africa while promoting um, the total electrification of the continent? I think African Energy Week, as always, is a very important platform. Um, and it, it provides us a platform um, to actually talk about our solutions. And mm. beyond that, talk about what our partners actually require. Mm. Right? Um, you know, a nuclear program is not something that um, is imposed on mm. a country, right? It's, it's not like selling a car, <laughs> right? It's a political decision that a country makes to embark on a nuclear program. Mm. Um, and it's a long-term program and it's a commitment that they make. Um, and it's their program, right? As vendors and responsible vendors, we can assist them in achieving their goals. Yeah. Um, but it, it is their goals, yeah. right? And it is their program. So I think, you know, platforms like this where different partners from across the continents are able to maybe share notes, share ideas, mm -hmm. um, around how to execute these type of projects and, and why to execute these type of projects is, is vitally important. Fantastic. Thank you so much for your time and thank you for being here. I do hope you have a productive week. Thank you very much.